Nothing. I'm taking rock. Taking loose rock. Gotta take you. Alright. Boy, for as dry as it is this summer, there's an area down here that's uh, lush. Oh, you must be talking about the Aspen Grove down there. Yeah, I think that's where I am. Those trees are actually one root organism. Did you know that? I didn't. Damn. Yeah, they share their water as a colony that can live for hundreds of years, even through fire. Can you believe you're actually getting paid to learn all of these amazing things? Also, uh, by what it looks like on this map, you'll be coming up on a stream that should lead you towards where we saw that smoke. Yep, yeah, there it is. Man, this is cool. <laughs> keeping that, keeping this loose rock though. It's my weapon. It's my weapon of choice. Weapon of mass destruction. I'll kill a bitch with this rock. This loose rock. So, all right. Because I'll continue down here. Oh, oh no. It's a really nice waterfall down here. Even those girls love a skinny dipping, I bet they're nearby. Oh, yep. Torn. Uh, there's some cloth out here. It looks like it was torn from something. Strange. I'll keep looking around. Yeah, it is a little strange. Assuming go through here. Where is that fire strip, anyways? I don't see it anymore. Damn it. Where is it? There's a thing I could do. I fucking sw ah! It was right there. I saw it. Like the radio thing where I could talk. Whatever. Oh, ha ha ha! Oh, oh no. Uh, looks like someone left a note. <laughs> Intriguing. Maybe you should read it. Okay, yeah. Let me know what it says. What note? Dear Psycho, I hope you're fucking happy. We're leaving and we're going to find the police or whatever and tell them about how you creeped on us in the lake and then came and destroyed our campsite and all of our stuff. Oh, and s s uh, s searching? Steering? Stinking. Searching pan. I don't know what that says. Ste stealing. They're stealing panties. It's gross. <laughs> panties is gross out. You're probably a mental fucking axe murderer and axe, so going to jail. Uh, I hope it was worth being a jerk over some f fireworks dick. Well, they're gone for sure. The girls? I found their campsite. S someone or something tore it to shreds, and the girls left me a note behind. Well, what's it say? Threatening to call the police because they think I attacked them. Oh my god. Well, did you? Oh, well, hey, I didn't do this, okay? Someone or something went to town here, but it wasn't me. Because I told you to scare them, not assault them. I didn't. Of course I didn't. I just threw their stereo in the lake. <laughs> yeah, I really wish you wouldn't have done that. This is, I don't know, weird as hell, but it wasn't me. It's, it's okay. I believe you. Weird stuff happens in the woods. It could be other campers. They could be having a bad mushroom trip. We really don't know, but they're gone. There's no way to call the cops. They're not coming back, and we can get to work. I'd really like to start enjoying a quiet summer. Yeah, me too. Hmm. I want to kind of es excavate a little bit. I had a feeling to just shut that off and do day three. And boards downstairs to patch the window. <laughs> Alright. Back to work. I saw some boards down there, so. Hey, Henry. 
Yeah. Um, what do you look like? Why are you asking? Because I'm horribly superficial. <laughs> like Burt Reynolds. I could be Tom Cruise's good-looking twin brother. Oh, that's too bad. I read in people he's like five foot nothing. Yeah, well, you can't win them all. Okay, well, that gives me a good start. Now let's see. In my scope, I can only tell you're a white guy wearing shorts. It's hot. And maybe, by the way, I'm not white. It's not very, uh, you know, PC or whatever they say. Oh my god, you are the whitest man. Wow. I don't need a spotting scope for that. And if not shorts, then what do you normally like to wear? Uh, I don't know. I like to look nice, usually. Well, I try now, I guess. Hmm. Had a bit of a schlubby period, did we? Yeah, a good 25, 30 years, yeah. But, um, now you'll put on a, a clean shirt? Yeah. Well, I, I have one that I got for Christmas, actually. Just, um, it's navy with white buttons, but I, I like it. I don't wear it that much, though. Well, it sounds just perfect. Now tell me about your face. I'm looking at you across the bar. What do I see? Uh, <laughs> hmm. A pretty thick beard. Oh. Have you always had a beard? For a while, yeah. All right. Perfect. I want to know about your eyes. Get out of here. I'm drawing you. I need to know. Your what? Is, is that okay? Uh... Don't... don't answer. I'm gonna do it regardless. Fine. Your eyes, tell me. Dude. Uh, they're happy, I think. I mean, I've been told they look happy. Julia told you that, huh? Look, I don't know how to describe eyes. Happy is good. That's good. Okay, got it. Thank you, Henry. You get what you need? Absolutely. <laughs> Dude, she is like Julia. She draws. Oh, that works. That's good. Only if I could do that really fast. One hit each. I got that window all patched up. So what should I do now? What's next? What's next? What do you think is next? Well, you've been the one giving me tasks for two days straight. What's next is you sit in that room until September 1st and call me at the first sign of smoke. Oh, yeah. Why don't you let me know when you're mentally prepared for that task and uh, I'll give it to you. Guess I'm ready. I guess so. Oh, look at this, dude. Got all this stuff up here. Huh. Okay, I think I am ready to tackle my long term commitment of keeping this national forest safe from total destruction. I am glad to hear you've really thought this through. Of course. We've issued you a comfy chair to sit in and everything. You know, it's not really that comfy. I mean, it's wooden and there's no padding. I think I actually got a splinter in my thigh this morning. Aww. Well, regardless, take a seat. The forest depends on you. Day nine, huh? Skip six days. Having a nice afternoon? Yeah, great. I never leave. I might never leave. Well, uh, I called with some bad news. Two young women, Chelsea Stevens and Lily McLean, were reported missing. They've got parents out in California who haven't heard from them in a week. 
They were supposed to meet an aunt down in Cody. If they're the girls from last week, then you're probably the last person to have seen them. Oh, dang it. Some people. Oh, my goodness. All right, I'm back. I was visited by my parents. They uh, gave me food, so I had to take a break. So. You should tell whoever that I'm happy to be questioned. I caused them some trouble, but nothing major. I'd never even got very close to them. Well, uh... One stereo, that's it. Look, it's not gonna be an issue. Uh, I mean, if, if they turn up dead, then maybe. Should I just not say anything and save us the trouble? Uh... Yeah, don't. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking. All right, Henry, thanks. Enjoy the sunset. <laughs> Damn it, now I have greasy hands. <laughs> ah! Now ah, they're not bad. Had a jack and box. Henry. Henry, wake up. Get out of bed and pick up the radio. What do you want? Hey, you big dumb idiot. Hey, it's late. <clears throat> I know it is. You Whoa. sound tired. Hmm, I am. Are you having a nice time? Sure. Are you? Everything good there? Aren't you? Jules? What? Oh, sorry, Henry. Yeah, I'm good. Oh, well, that's good. Well, I'll let you get back to sleep then. Mm, okay, Jules. Delilah seems nice. Mm-hmm, sure. Bye, baby. Huh. I, th I, I didn't realize that that was Jewel, Julia, for a bit. Hike north to retrieve supplies. Is it supplies. too much of a pain in the ass to bring supplies all the way up to our towers? Well, I get my stuff hand-delivered. Oh, how's that work? It's the perks of a decade of service. You're out hiking in 90 degree heat and I get to do crosswords. Isn't life miserably unfair? Anyway, when you find the supply drop, remember it's not just for you, okay? Other lookouts, biologists, a few people get their food there, and I don't want to have to call in for more. There should be loads of good stuff, though. Beans, prunes, jerky. You know, my sister eats six prunes a day. Six. She's, like, really precise about it. She'd be great at this job if she didn't need wheelbarrows full of marijuana to function. <laughs> All right, so we are heading north. So, like, class. two weeks ago, you called me in the middle of the night. You were sleeping, I guess, and all I heard was the name Jules through the mumbles. I knew it! I thought it was so sweet. I wanted to wake you up, but then I thought maybe you were having a nice conversation, and I'd just be spoiling it. I hope you're doing okay, you know, when it comes to her. I am. Good. I'm glad. Oh, uh, look. So, a couple of months before I took this job, I... <laughs> I was with this guy. Javier. Ugh, he's incredible. Caring. Sexy as hell. He was a driller down in Casper. We dated for almost five years. I was working with the Wyoming Outdoor Leadership School, and I was obsessed with it. I wanted to be an instructor so badly. And I was sure I was going to marry Javier as soon as I could be bothered. Walls was also a good excuse to get out of town, drink whiskey in the mountains, cut loose. <sighs> then, um, Javier's brother got killed working in Gillette. And, <sighs> for some reason, I didn't come home. Javier said it was fine. He'd go to the funeral, take care of his mom, stuff like that. It'd be easier solo. When he came back, he left me. 
I came out here. I lied and told my sister he fucked our neighbor. I just lied about it for over ten years. And uh for some reason I wanted you to know. Uh, I figured you've told me so much about you. So, you know, there's something about me. We both fucked up. Hmm. Camera? Where's the camera? There it is. All right. Well, rock's gone. Loose rock. Rocky. <clears throat> Alright. Here to retrieve some supplies. And there's the fire lookout. Region supplies. There we go. And we're back. Moving the mic. Hopefully I edited that out. I don't know. Because that's probably a little noisy. And there's not going to be any supplies. Because someone ransacked them. Found the supplies. Oh good. Uh, enjoy. See, I went to this thing. and Oh. Two forks. Spruce. Moss peak. Food for other lookout. Food for two forks lookout. I'm two forks, right? Yeah, I am. Alright. Huh, should I be a dick and take him? <laughs> Not gonna be a dick. Port heading home. Oh. Alright, I got everything I need out of here. Time to chow down. Just yours, right? Who do you think I am? <laughs> wow, that skipped some days. Wow. Uh oh. You've got a front row seat for what might be the biggest fire of the year. Yeah, it's really going. I'm gonna call it in. They'll send in a hotshot crew for some suppression, but I bet we'll be stuck with her for the rest of the summer. And. She doesn't have a name yet. I usually think of something funny or something practical or a little risque when coming up with them. But why don't you do the honors? Uh, maybe we call it the Flapjack Fire. Can you sell that as a name? You really like that, huh? Yeah, I said I did. It's funny. Fair enough. Flapjack Fire it is. They'll probably ask me if it was a camp cooking accident or something. So there's this creek down the hill, and, um, you know what my favorite thing to do is? What's that? I love to take a bottle of whatever I have on hand, plunge it deep into the water, and let it chill in there all day. Hmm. And then, on nights like tonight, when it is so disgustingly hot, I have something nice and cool to drink. I learned that from my sister in Santa Fe. She'd do that with a bottle of tequila near her house and make margaritas the size of your head. You would like it there. I would if I was with you. <laughs> I'm not going there yet. Sure I would. Sounds pretty great. It is. Are you looking at the fire? Yeah, I am. Wait, I can't... Mm -mm. I love how they look at night. During the day, it's just smoke, but... When the sun is down, you can just get lost. Yeah. Yeah. See, I'm not gonna flirt with her. Here. Me too. Me too. Good. I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you. Not in the same way. I know it's probably been a while since you've connected with someone the way we have. <laughs> I don't mean to get all heavy, but it's been really nice. I wish I was over there. I wish you were too. We could sit outside. We could talk. We got these radios. We could, um, you know. 
What could we do? What? What could we do? Well, let me tell you. I'm just gonna act like an idiot that has no idea.